Thanks for joining us at Right On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the reissuing of the Depth Charger Aqua Rod by AMT. It's a 125th scale kit, and it's seen multiple box arts and re-releases over the years, being a perennial favorite. It's catalog number AMT618, and the kit is a skill level 2 for intermediate builders and requires paint and glue. There's 111 parts molded in white, chrome and clear, clear orange, clear blue, clear purple, and two-piece soft black tires. The decal sheet is an all-new expanded water slide sheet and the instructions are the fold-out style. This is a show rod and there's nothing real about it except that it's really awesome uh, and one of those kits we love to have reissued. When it's finished It'll be about 7 inches long, 6 inches wide, and 6 and a quarter inches high. Here's my version of the open box review. I opened the box, and there were the parts. Some people would pick up each part and sprue and try and explain it or find some words to describe them, but that won't help you get the kit built, now will it? So here's my open box review in about 10 seconds. Now you got to remember that you should always follow the manufacturer's safety guidelines when using any of the products found here in the review. The decals for this kit are very colorful and the registry is pretty good. But as always, with using larger decals, use plenty of warm water and I recommend using some of the aftermarket setting solutions to help the larger decals settle in to any of the contours on the model and stick well to the plastic. Now we're going to be using for the most part Model Master clear cement, that's the liquid cement, and sometimes super glue for strength where needed and occasionally we'll use a white glue for any of the window or clear plastic parts. We'll gather these parts to start with the motor, so assemble the block, heads and front, and paint the motor your color of choice. The transmission will be aluminum, the belt is rubber color, the distributor is black. The axle is steel and then add the heads to, and the carbs and valve covers. Now install the fan and the oil pan and add the belt distributor and the alternator. Now install the axle. These are the biggest big and littles I've ever seen uh, but these rear tires come in two pieces that are assembled. So assemble the rear rims and paint the backs flat black and the middle steel. Then slide the back rims into the tire backs and the chrome trim on the front of the tire. Then the white wall can be painted on the rear tire if you wish uh, and on the front tires just assemble the rim halves and slide the tire over the rims. Paint the chassis and frame there of a body color and the motor pan, prop shaft and rudder is painted steel. Now follow this. The, uh, assemble the exhaust and the fuel cell on the frame and install the tie rod, the front tires, the front radius arms, fuel cell and rear radius arms. On the exhaust connector assemble the pipes, anchor and rudder with some super glue and attach the rear tires to the rear axle. Now install the motor uh, mount pan in place uh, on the rear radius arms and then install the motor. Install the exhaust and then add the prop and the shaft to the oil pan. Now we'll start working on the body. So uh, we'll begin with the top of it. Install the periscope shaft to the floor. Sand and smooth any blemishes off the body that you find and prime the body with a good primer uh, prior to painting and let that dry. Then paint the base coat on the body. Um, I chose a copper color. Uh, the floor is flat black. Uh, as is the inside if the windshield and the windshield surround uh, are going to be added, of course. So choose the color of the glass that you want to complement your body color and then set the others aside. Now assemble the face mask, uh, the back and the glass and front and add that to the body. Now assemble the air intake and install the uh, that below the face mask. Use a wash of 50-50 uh, uh, flat black and thinner uh, for the grill and for the highlight uh, that you know you want to achieve on that. So 
install the glass in the side ports and slide those onto the body. Then add the periscope to the roof and install the floor. Gather these parts from the kit and assemble the rear tanks, side tanks, uh, headlights with the fins, air regulator and air outlet connectors. And note that any blemishes on the parts, uh, as in the fins, they have huge in ejector pin marks that need removal and cleaned up and repaired. And uh, all the parts uh, need to be, you know, readied for paint. So uh, paint the headlights body color. And then uh, rear, the rear tanks and the side tanks are a complementary color. The regulator and hose outlets are aluminum. And the hoses are flat black. And the flag is flat black. Now we'll install the body first, so then install the rear tanks, regulator, and the air outlet, and add the hoses. The spotlight and the lens goes on the air outlet, and on the chassis, add the other tanks with the flag and spear. Now install the headlights with lenses, and add the steering arm. Now with those uh, issues installed, the body is completed as far as construction goes, and as you can see, she's really taking shape already. Now it's time to add the decals to the kit. Once again, use plenty of warm water so that they come loose from the carrier, uh, but uh, also they're going to curve and wrap around features, so I'd strongly suggest you use some of that uh, setting solution. But just to choose the ones that you'd like to place, and then uh, squeeze out any air or trapped uh, water bubbles, and put some more setting solution on to keep them in place. Um, once that's done, uh, your model is essentially great, but you can uh, let it cure overnight and then apply a clear coat to those to make sure you seal those into place. This kit's a single purpose build, and the only thing you'll have left is the optional window glass colors and also the decals that you don't use. But never throw parts away, put them in your stash for another day. It's not a kit, a kit that's difficult to build, uh, but some of the parts don't have real positive location uh, points to uh, for gluing. Uh, so just glue them into place on the frame where it appears that they should go. And you can use uh, these photos, etc., and the box art to determine that. Um, the body and the small tanks and the fuel cell have no particular location tabs. Um, and you just kind of guess uh, to their location. And as you can see, once again from the photos, um, that uh, that's about where they should go. There's no real suspension or drivetrain. The interior is a bit lacking. Uh, but this is a show car just for looks. And the only thing you'll get from this kit is just plain fun. Buy one and put it on your shelf. We hope you like this scale model premium kit review from Right On Replicas. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and also at our website, www.writeonreplicas.com. Thanks.